What's up guys, Tim Little. Welcome back to Tactical Bassin. Today we are doing some bank fishing, some pond fishing. Our buddy Caleb invited JD and I out to his, uh, his property that, that backs up against this golf course pond. And today we're gonna do some pond fishing. We're gonna walk along the shoreline and see if we can stick some big largemouth. Let's go. So bank fishing is something that I love to do. You know, it's kind of how I grew up fishing, meeting all my neighbors, introducing myself, getting permission to fish their ponds. And uh, today is no different. One key thing, make sure you guys do have permission. You don't want to go trespassing to try and pond fish or bank fish. So today, keeping it simple, I got four combos. Uh, you know, when you're, when you're hoofing the shoreline, you want to keep it fairly simple. I got a, got a backpack on has uh, a couple Plano boxes in it, some pliers, all my soft plastics. But as far as rod and reels, I brought four. Actually, I brought six. Two for JD and four for me. You know, when you're carrying and you're walking the shoreline, you don't want to carry a bunch of stuff. So, of course, start off with the big stuff. Can't leave home without a glide bait. I went with a rod that I can throw a chatter bait or a swim jig or Kitech, something like that on. And then two finesse rods. I brought one for drop shot and one um, weightless Senko. You know, weightless Senko is weedless. It is a killer in these, well, it's a killer no matter where you go, but especially in grassy pond situations. You can see out here, we got crystal clear water, lots of grass. So we'll try and throw some weedless baits, but let's go try and catch some fish. You can put your backpack down if you want. Go get some big ones. Here we go. Oh, gotta get that braid wet. And set the drag. So typically these, oh, there's the one. Got him. That didn't take very long, did it? Oh yeah. Was that second cast on the glide bait? Thank you, Caleb. <laughs> Let's go ahead and release this dude. Thanks, bud. I was in the middle of saying, usually these types of fisheries don't get legal pressure very often. Yeah, you know, I'm sure people sneak into them at night and everything, but uh, Middle of the day like this, the fish are cruising, especially in this clear water. That's why I pick up the glide bait first. Just kind of fan cast out here and see what's in this pond. How's it going, dude? Work it slow. What are you throwing? Is it shaky head? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I started JD off with a shaky head. As you can see, there's lots of grass. The benefit of the shaky head, uh, you can still fish that plastic worm, but you can fish it weedless. It's got the weighted head, kind of comes through the stuff a lot better. But there's a cruiser over here. So hopefully we can get JD some fish. So what I was told, is this fence right here is for the geese. You can actually get out and walk on the sand, but uh, 
I'll stay behind the goose fence. I could see the fish ignoring me. I think I'm gonna go change it up to a uh, some kind of maybe a weightless Senko or something. See if I can get these cruisers to commit. All right, put down the glide, grabbed a chatterbait and a weightless Senko. See if we can get some fish to commit on these. Oh, I saw that one eat. <laughs> Fired out past that little dock. Fish came out and just choked the chatterbait. Didn't get him. This is that Z-Man half ounce. Um, Z-Man Evergreen. This is the jackhammer paired up with the Sun Guild color Kitek. You know, in ponds like this, most of them don't have like shad or silver sides or any of that type of forage, they usually eat smaller bass and bluegill. So anytime you're fishing a pond, mimicking a bluegill is a good idea. All right, so I watched a couple eat the chatterbait and not hook up. I watched even more ignore it. So I'm gonna try and finesse them. Go with uh, Wait, let's Senko. It, typically, I like to fish a Senko wacky rigged, but uh, like I said before, this is a grassy, real grassy pond. So, a um, little tip for you guys get some of those hooks. These are actually made by owner. I'll link them down below, just like we do in every video. Everything will be linked below, but this has the, the twist lock on the head of the hook. So, you screw your bait on and rig it weedless and you'll save yourself a ton of headache trying to come through this grass on these ponds. On finesse applications, especially weightless applications or techniques where I, I feel like I might have a good opportunity of getting bit on the fall, I will go with some type of high visibility braid. That way, right now, as this Senko has fallen, I'm watching the, the bow in my line and I'm waiting for it to jump. When you when you use the fluorescent line, it's a lot easier to see than your traditional dark green that kind of blends in with the water. I run in a long leader, so the fish, I'm not worried about the fish being afraid of the braid. Still falling. So this pond specifically is actually fed by a larger pond up, up above and that pond is fed by a river. So this is actually river water. Um, so these fish can come and go as they please. They're not trapped in here. Makes for a little interesting dynamic for pond fishing when it's actually river water and the fish can come and go. Here, try this one. Okay, I'll try this one. It's really enjoying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a Zodius with a Cronark. A lot lighter, huh? Yeah. Okay, pay attention to your worm. That's a drop shot. Set hard. Oh, nice. You got him. Okay, reel him. Reel him over here. He's not that little. He's not little at all, dude. Here, lip him. It's your fish. I'm trying to get around there you go. it. Got him hard? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, I get to catch him. What'd oh, you? What did you? Oh, look how that came out. Uh, 
That's why you gotta get good hooks at, huh? I've barely even touched it in it. Hold him right long ways? Try catching him um, three times and he'd literally just eat it, hook him, you could see his gills, and um, you just reel it in. What, well, were you just too slow on the hook set, or how come you couldn't catch him before? I, I yanked it, and then when I set it hard enough, um, you could see where the hook was. It was, okay. it was like right here on the lip. It wasn't... Here, let's put him over here in the water gently. So I would here, I'll hold him. Lip a little bit. Climb over. Oof. I want you to put him in the water gently. Oof. Yeah. You got him? Yeah. Okay. These are the goodies I brought. Another S waiver. You can never go to a pond, no matter what time of the year it is, unless it's frozen and iced over, always bring some kind of top water frog, something like that. I think I'm gonna go, got the chatterbaits here, some spinner baits. I'm gonna try and go with this guy right here. The owner, flashy swimmer with a Kitek. Get that tied on and see if we can get someone to eat that. What's that? Oh, yeah, that is a nice one. The ones you can see, they can see you, and it's a lot harder. Reel up some of that slack. Got him. That one hit on the fall. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Made that switch to the Kitek not long after. Got a nice one. <laughs> oh. Thanks, dude. That's the that's the braid. See, that was literally my first cast with this bait. That one ate the old Sungill Kitek on a tactical finesse swim bait head. Money. Thanks, bud. What with that sungill color? Again, like I said, the pond fishing, it's really hard to beat some type of gill color. And that sungill, which has that chartreuse belly that kind of mimics the gills. Kind of a deeper spot over here, letting it fall and uh, just trying to keep it up out of that grass. Another nice one. Thanks, dude. This guy absolutely got it. Thanks, bud.
Yeah. There you go. I'm gonna try and cast over this log. Okay, start reeling. Otherwise, you'll get hung up in that log. Set, set. There's not anything on it. Hmm. Okay. What's on it? Yeah. That's it. it. I'm done. I told you to set. I'm done. I got that one. Get him. Got it. Yeah, with that stuff on the mud. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I literally hooked him right through the middle of the bottom map part of his mouth. <sighs> What'd you catch him on? Uh, tie tech. <laughs> and more importantly, what kind of head? That is the tactical finesse swim bait head. Mm -hmm. You know who designed that? You. Yeah. This guy. Show me the fish. Don't long arm in. He's not 12 pounds. There you go. Pretty cool. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, oh. There you go. That's dirty. Let's go. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up. Caught a handful of fish, only out here for a short period of time before we gotta get back to school, right? Yeah. Got uh, the at-home classroom going on these days. But um, pond fishing, love doing it. Shout out to Caleb for inviting us out. Awesome area, we got about a hundred yards. Oh, look at the big old muskrat over there, JD. See it swimming? I uh, got about 100 yards of shoreline that he has access to to legally fish this golf course pond. Um, pretty cool. The water's very clear. You know, it's uh, there's no dam on this pond, so it's not like there's a deeper area to go target with like jigs and that sort of stuff. So it was kind of what we could reach with reaction baits, some swim baits, glide baits. Um, had a couple bites on a weightless Senko and missed them. Caught them on the Kitek, both uh, rigged on the owner flashy swimmer and on the tactical finesse head. Uh, the benefits of each, obviously, the exposed hook, it's easier to get that hook penetration with a lighter hook set. But the benefit of the flashy swimmer is you are weedless and it comes through the grass better. So down below in the video description, I will link all the different things that um, I brought and all the different baits that we actually caught fish on. JD caught one or two, two, but again, Great time, short time out here, but uh, had a blast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the shore fishing video. Uh, maybe later on I'll do like an in-depth pond fishing video or bank fishing video talking about techniques and when to use each. But as always guys, if you guys like this video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. We appreciate you guys. Have a good one.